a year ago talking to you about your involvement in the Apollo House campaign. A year on, there's now new campaigns developing and we have this National Homeless and Housing Coalition mm. which is going to have a major event next April. Mm. One year on, how do you think things have progressed in dealing with the issue of homelessness? Well, they've obviously gotten worse. I mean, that's, that's plain to see. Um, like a part, the biggest problem with this is, is the political state that we're in, the, the rotten heart of our political system, okay? Now you have Fianna Fáil, Fianna Gael, Labour, and they have the little A4 sheets there, and they're going to tell you this, that, and the other, whatever. The reality is there's no appetite for change, right? Because what are you going to get out of helping homeless people? You're not going to get anything. What are, you, what are uh, what these people look through a lens, like they're looking at a balance sheet, they look at people like they're looking at a number. So there's no empathetic lens whatsoever, you know? These Do you doubt the sincerity of the three people to oh, your left these are, the these are psychopaths and suits, I have no doubt, I suspect they are, and I think if, if you get elected, I think you should take a test to see if you're psych Like, for instance, Zoe Burton tried to wrongly convict a minor uh, of an offence. Oh, hold on a second. I'm just saying, like, the only a psychopath, but only a psychopath, only a psychopath. She didn't make that decision well, to opinion, take that John Connor's there, don't worry, you're not getting sued. But only a psychopath can make a move like that. They might be psychopaths, but they're elected psychopaths. Exactly. Which makes them dangerous. Which makes them dangerous. Makes them even more dangerous, because you can play with people's hearts on a balance sheet, and people go home so they don't care, and who do they have a mandate? They look after Facebook. Someone voted them in. And of course, that's the system we live in. You might have voted them in. That's the only, believe me, I didn't vote them in. That's the only system that we have of us, unfortunately, and but what does working. that say to you then about society that they're the people who get elected well, you see, and they do what people vote When you're vote born into that so exactly, because you're born into that society and this is the norm for you and everything you read and you're just, you're just, it's just been ingrained in you so you, you don't see another option. You know, that's the unfortunate thing. Now, the thing is, we see with the water charges and people power, people are now standing up for homeless people and they're saying, this is enough. Do you think that, though, the homelessness campaign will get the traction that the water campaign did? Because when people protested against the water, a lot of it was because it was bills that they were going to have to pay they didn't want to. Yeah. Homelessness, for many people, isn't an issue yeah. when it doesn't affect people in their family or their friends. Yeah, but I believe in the Irish people. I think, they, uh, uh, I think you said it earlier, they're inherently kind of decent. I think people are seeing that. I think December is the month where usually it ramps up the empathy because of the cold and whatever. But if you look at the crowds and all these campaigns, all these rallies, they're getting bigger and bigger. A lot of people are getting involved, big name people, artists all around. That always attracts people and it puts the pressure. We've seen it with the Apollo House, it put a little bit of pressure for you know a little bit of time. I think it's I think it's an issue you have to solve. I think it's one of the issues of the day, you know. Do you so think I mean they call it an emergency? Yeah. Okay. Like what what do you want? Do you like that's a, it, to me it could be a bit glib in so far as it's a great soundbite, yeah, yeah. but I mean, is it more money? Well, if is you it more planning permissions? What is it actually Is it just want? a roof over your head on a very simple level? How about yeah. that? Someone's got to build that. Yeah, well, there's tens of thousands of houses that's empty across their country. Now, I don't care about property values going up and down. I just care about people getting in those houses so they don't freeze the dead in Dublin City. That's all I care about. I have cousins who were in uh, hotels with families for two years, three and four kids in a hotel room. I want them to get a decent standard of living. How can you even get on in life in any way possible if you don't have a roof over your head? Alan Kelly, I suppose, you went up five Alan Farrell. Alan Farrell. Sorry, sorry, 